Hello, it is Monday. It's a new weekly reading vlog and I have updates. First up, we're going to ignore my hair. I don't know what's going on with it. I uh, was just feeling a high ponytail today and my hair's still really curly. Um, it's wash day tomorrow, so these curls are going to go. Anyway, I finished books today. <laughs> we are off to a better start this week because I finished two books and it's Monday. So, if you watched last week's vlog, you will know that my plan for Sunday was to film some videos, edit some videos, spend time with my family, and then finish Iron Widow and catch up on Buddy Reads. Did any of that happen? Some of it did. The reading part did not. So, yesterday was a really nice day. So, I filmed three videos. I edited two. Then... My brother, sister-in-law and their three boys came. We did our present exchange. I got to meet my youngest nephew for the first time. William is adorable. I took a picture, so I was holding him and I took it. He's like six months old. Um, like Because of COVID and my dad having a heart attack, it just kept getting put off us meeting, <laughs> meeting them. So um, I was holding him. And he was fascinated by all the Christmas tree lights. And I got my camera out, opened up, like, like got my phone out, got the camera up. And the moment he saw that I had the camera on, he smiled. <laughs> Every time you put the camera on him, he smiled. It was the cutest thing. Um, and if you've seen Ice Age, when Sid is going, where's the baby? There he is. I was doing that with him and it was making him laugh. Um, or like, smile. Um, anyway, yeah, really nice day with them. Um, it was nice to see the other two boys as well. They liked their presents. Um, and then they left. I filmed one more video and edited and edited three more videos. So all in all on Sunday, I filmed three and edited five. So that was productive, but then by the time I'd finished editing that last video, I was just so tired. It was only like 10.30, but I got into bed and literally Iron Widow was sat there and I was like, I really want to pick you up, but I don't have the energy. So I just went to bed. I was asleep by 11, which has not happened in a really long time. So then today, obviously, I didn't really get much done apart from um, lunch break. I popped into town. I had to go to the post office, which was packed. And then I popped to Iceland um, and got some party food. Um, we're not having a party, um, but New Year, like New Year's Eve, we cook up loads of party food, even if there is literally just me, my mum and my dad. This year it's me, my mum, my dad and one of my nephews. Um, but literally we cook up loads of party food and I buy more than we need because that week after New Year, I like to just eat the leftover party food for lunches. That's my little thing I do. So I just bought like a ton of party food in Iceland. Um, I'm going to buy more because I didn't want to buy it too much because we've got a lot in our freezer at the moment and we need to like sort stuff out. Anyway, anyway, I finished work and I changed my bed in. I've got my cute gingerbread bedding on now, which goes with my dress today. <laughs> um, but I was listening to Invisible Life Ali LaRue whilst working um and i finished work and i only had like 41 pages um or no i had like 100 pages so i listened to more of the audiobook whilst i was like changing my bed in and everything and um and then i managed to hop onto rose sprints uh patreon sprints just in time for the first one in which i finished the last 41 pages of this um sobbed once again i mean it's it's not a surprise is it uh, this is the third time I've read this book. It will also come to no surprise that it literally got the exact same rating, which is a five star. So yeah, I love this book so much. It never fails to make me cry and I just love it with all of my being, which is good because I have 11 editions of it now, two of which I can't even read because they're not in English. But then 
I was like, I'm not sleeping tonight till I finish this. It is 22.46 and about 20 minutes ago, I finished this. <sighs> okay, so I want to retract a statement I said in last week's vlog where I said that um, this is like a love triangle. It is not a love triangle. It is a polyamorous relationship and... I've never read a book with polyrep before. And whilst I cannot speak for polyrep because, like, I've never been in a polyamorous relationship or anything, I think it's written really well. I could be wrong. But I loved it so much. And I was right that it was going to be a five star. And I think I'm also going to be right on it being my favourite book of the month even though this is only like the third book I've finished this month. <laughs> but I just don't, like, I'm looking at my TBR for this month and as much as I know I'm going to enjoy all of those books, I don't think any, any of them are going to beat this. I loved this. I loved the main three characters, especially her. She is, I aspire to be the level of badass that she is. I just, yes. Um, but yet yeah, the ending has sort of like made my mind explode because I need book two. I don't think there's a release date for book two and I want to cry because I need it now. Now, please. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, but I, last week or the week before, said I was low-key going to take part in book Christmas that's being hosted by Helen over at Helen's Book Haven. Um, this is the second book that I've read for it because I've read my white book and this is my red book. I don't think I'm completing it because let me check when it ends. So I just checked and book Christmas is only going till the 15th. So I've got a feeling this is about as good as I'm getting just two books. <sighs> I should have I should have been very like specific that I was gonna do book Christmas as a readathon because yeah clearly I need readathons to actually read nowadays but it's fine I am hopefully hopefully so tomorrow um obviously I am on Lisa Sprints and my plan is to finish Daylighters because I'm halfway through and this should be a pretty quick read i reckon i can do it in three sprints um and then maybe get the next story of ghost of the shadow market done because i've still only read the first one yeah so that's that i don't think we can get any reading done wednesday because i'm going to see spider-man after work on wednesday but um we'll see how that goes um but yeah i am gonna go because i'm tired <laughs> so i am i mean i have like finished two books today i was halfway through this and just over halfway through this so i've done basically the equivalent of one whole book today um so yeah very happy with that um but yeah i'll catch up with you tomorrow and hopefully i'll have more good reading updates hello it is tuesday it's very late i am gonna make this very quick because i'm tired I've got a long day tomorrow, <laughs> but I did join Lisa's Sprints. Danny was on there as well, um, and I finished Daylighters. I literally had 14 pages left at the end of the last sprint. So after we come off the live, um, me and Lisa were chatting for a bit because Danny had gone off a bit earlier. But then um, me and Lisa came off and I literally just finished this. <laughs> um, it was a five star again, like... I love this one. It's such a good ending to a series. Did cry on the sprints. I think Lisa was the only one that noticed. But um, a character dies in this and I completely forgot that they die in this. And it just hit me a bit. Because <laughs> I uh, had forgotten and it sort of was unexpected. Um, but I love this this book. I love this series. And... It's just such a good ending and yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. <laughs> um, but that's all I have done reading wise today. I 
do have a plan to listen to an audiobook whilst I work tomorrow and that audiobook will be Royal Assassin. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna dive back into the Farseer trilogy and we'll uh, see if I give it a better rating than the two star I gave Assassin's Apprentice because <laughs> I do think I will enjoy the Tawny Man trilogy but obviously to read that I need to finish the Farseer trilogy. So just got to power through which is why I'm audio booking them I'm not gonna get the physical books because that's not gonna work for me but it's fine um but yeah I'm keeping this very short and sweet because I am gonna go now um I'm gonna go to bed because I've got work tomorrow and then tomorrow evening I'm going to see Spider-Man <laughs> um so yeah I will catch up with you tomorrow hello it's Wednesday I have nothing to say right now other than I saw Spider-Man tonight. This is a no spoiler zone. I'm not saying anything other than my mind is blown. It was the second best Marvel movie I've ever watched in my life. And I loved it. I have not read a thing. I was hoping I could... Also, I'm, I'm leaning down because I think I've broken my tripod and I've got to sort it out. Which is great. <laughs> It's great. Um, I just filmed a thing and yeah, I think I've broken it. We're, we're going to see if I managed to fix it. <laughs> but I was going to see if I could read. But I honestly, my, my brain is reeling a bit and Liv has just messaged me to say she's waiting for the end credit scenes. But then can she call me on the, on the <laughs> drive home? And I was like, yes, you can. Um, but I thought we'd just quickly come in. Um, my planner came. Oh, I'm so excited. This is the Little Inkling Designs one, which I discovered thanks to Ro at Wandering Through Worlds. So thank you, Ro. Um, I got the horizontal one, um, which basically means on the monthly spread. So each month you get this. And then for the actual weekly, it's horizontal, whereas the vertical is like that for the days and I don't like it like that. Liv did get that one. But I got the vertical, the horizontal one. Her. I got the horizontal one and I'm really excited to start planning January stuff. However, I was going to start doing that on my lunch break today, but um, <laughs> I am scared to write in it and ruin it. <laughs> So we'll see. But I'm going to go because I think Liv's about to um, call. So, yeah, I'll uh, catch up with you tomorrow where hopefully I'll actually have some reading updates for you. Hello. Oh, what is this doing? Um, hello. It is Thursday. It's Thursday. My brain blanked. And then do you know how I remembered it was Thursday? Because I remembered I saw Spider-Man yesterday. <laughs> and yesterday was Wednesday. <laughs> um, so yesterday... I said I had no reading updates for you. That was a lie. I apologise for lying to you. Um, I decided to bite the bullet and I started listening to the audiobook of Royal Assassin, <laughs> which obviously is the second book in the Farseer trilogy, which I gave the first book two stars. However, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you will know that I absolutely adored the Live Ship Trader series and I would quite like to continue the rest of the trilogies. But to do that, I need to finish the Farseer trilogy, so thank you, Script, for having the audiobooks. I listened to the first, like, 18% yesterday, and then I got to 29% today, and I don't think it's going to be a two-star like Assassin's Apprentice was. However, right now, my feelings, I feel like it's sitting at a three-star. I don't know if that will improve, because I am only 29% in. I don't hate Fitz as much as, like, I have a bit more interest in his life um he, obviously he's a bit older um his obsession with molly's a bit weird um but you know apparently that's going to get worse which is great um well from what i've heard anyway um yeah i i'm still unsure but i'm not hating it like i did with assassin's apprentice so that is a good sign however i'm gonna say in advance rosie I don't see it being a five star, so I'm apologising in advance for that. But I don't think I'm also going to hate it as much as I didn't like Assassin's Apprentice. Just saying. I'm thinking a three star. We'll never know. 
it might end up four star we'll see how it goes so updates that's it that's all i've that's all i've read um to be fair i have been working and i didn't end up getting to sleep until like two o'clock last night and i am so tired to the point i got a headache today it's still lingering but i had a headache and i used my lunch break in work to have a nap which helped a little bit it did sort of like get rid of it a little bit but it's still lingering um but then posty came and my giveaway prize from hotkey books came so they did the 12 days of bookmas or something like that where they did a giveaway each day and they were giving away arcs or a arc or five arcs or they, they were giving away arcs of uh, like proofs of tersio and eleanor by garth nix <laughs> and i won one i am so hyped about this because i've obviously been reading the series i've now read the original trilogy which is which is sabriel liriel and a paulson and i've just bought clariel um which i'm hoping to read in january and then it's golden hand and then there's this i think um there is also across the wall which is a collection of short stories the paperback for that in this new cover scheme comes out in january and i pre-ordered it um so yes very excited um very happy and the they only made 50 of these proofs so they're numbered and i've got number 26 of 50 it makes me very happy and there's a little note in the uh thing from garth nix himself a little note which is so cool um but yeah i am very excited for this i'm very happy so thank you so much to hotkey for i mean you it was a random thing but thanks for picking me as the winner <laughs> um so yeah i didn't expect to win this at all um but i'm very happy i did because i've been absolutely adoring this series and this isn't going to be coming out on paperback for a while because it's only just come out in hardback which i really hope when they do it but it's fine um so obviously i'm not going to be getting this this has just come out in hardback at the beginning of november so <laughs> i don't want to wait till like whenever they bring the paperback out so luckily i don't have to because i have this now so when i can read it on that um awesome news tomorrow i'm going to have my booster jab um my obviously they they said from wednesday 18 to 29 year olds could book their booster as long as it's been i think two or three months since their second jab which i had my jab at the end of august so end of november was my three months um and i was helping my mum book her jab and she managed to book hers for for friday midday ish and i thought out of curiosity this was tuesday i did this and i was thinking out of curiosity i'm gonna see if it will let me because i know a few people who are in their 20s that had managed to book so i went through the process for me and it let me book for the appointment time five minutes after my mum's so we're going tomorrow on my lunch break in work to get our jabs done so that's gonna be good get that done um so yeah i'm gonna be all boosted up for christmas which is great because obviously we're having family over um i mean we're literally having my sister and three of my nephews it's not like we're having a party it's literally gonna be seven of us <laughs> um but yeah so dreading it because needles is not something i do but i'm trying to just concentrate on the fact that it's fine i'm gonna be triple drapped it's fine <laughs> um but yeah so I've just filmed my unboxing for a Luma crate. I'm really enjoying the fact that I am getting into the habit of actually unboxing it on camera. Because usually I unbox it, put everything back in the box and then film my unboxing. So you're not getting my actual reactions. Um, which you would have missed out on with both Empire of the Vampire and Little Thieves if I hadn't have done that. And my reactions for them were great so yeah i'm really enjoying doing that um i yeah don't really know what else to say i am gonna try hang on a sec i am gonna try and start eva evergreen the semi-magical witch tonight um this is the last book from my library haul that i did in october 
Um, so I can't renew this again. <laughs> I'm shocked they let me renew it this time. But this, I took all the other books back, but I do really want to read this. So I decided to see if I could renew this one more time. It's due back the 4th of January. And ideally, I don't want to wait until the 4th of January. I'd quite like to get it done this week because then I can take it back the beginning of next week before Christmas, like before they close for Christmas. Because I don't think they're open between Christmas and New Year. So I'd rather get it back and done. So that's my plan for the rest of the night. It's only 10 past eight. So I'm going to curl up in my PJs and try and read. I might, uh, I was going to say if I see if anyone's doing sprints, but do you know what? No, I'm just going to see if I can binge read some of this. Maybe put on a read with me. Not my own, that'd be weird. But a few other people have done read with me's for their vlogmas. So I think I'm going to stick one of them on. I know Michelle over at Bookishly Michelle has done one. So I might watch hers. Um, so yeah, I'll catch up with you later when hopefully I'll have some reading updates. Hello, it is a few hours later. I have been in bed, I've had a Christmas ambiance video on, and I've been reading Ever, Eva Evergreen, and I'm halfway through. This has been a really quick read. I've read like 200 pages in like, I think it's been like two hours. Um, I'm really enjoying it, and yeah, I'm loving how Eva finds semi-magical ways to repair things, um... And this is literally the cutest thing ever. She is called this creature Ember. He's a Firefox. And it's so cute. I want a Firefox. Um, but yeah, really enjoying this. But I'm really tired because I got no sleep last night. So I'm going to go to bed now. But I thought I would just come in and just give you a bit of an update that I managed to get halfway through a book. Yay! <laughs> um... I would like to finish this tomorrow but Charlie is coming round and we are having our like Christmas celebrations this weekend so I probably won't get any more of this read now until Sunday maybe um so we'll see but yeah I'm now gonna just get into bed properly and hopefully sleep hello it is Saturday technically it's Sunday because it's just hit midnight didn't I don't think I updated you again yesterday um, I literally had my booster on my lunch. It, it's very breezy now. Great. Uh, I feel really achy. Great. Not as bad as with the second jab because I was literally in bed. But it's fine. Um, yesterday, all I read was some of Royal Assassin. But I am like 54% through, I think. And I'm not hating it. It's not going to be a five star. But I'm enjoying it more than Assassin's Apprentice, so that's good. Um, I got a uh, Funko Pop delivery. I'm going to show you. I got two more of the Eternals. Because I have no control whatsoever. However, Forbidden Planet, I have a bone to pick with you. I pre-ordered these under the illusion that release date was January, February. Why do I have them in December? The same thing happened with Icarus, Circe and Crow, which came like two weeks ago. They weren't supposed to come out to January for every time. So thanks. Good job I had the money in my account. Um, today, um, it's been a bit of a, it's not really been a lazy day. Charlie's here. We had our little Christmas. Um, we don't do what me and Liv do and unwrap our presents because Charlie doesn't let me have them till Christmas Day. <laughs> Um, but we still had a Christmas dinner. Um, we watched, <laughs> so we watched Elf, but before we watched Elf, <laughs> we watched Chaos Walking. If you've read the books, don't bother with the film. If you've not read the books, you'll probably like the film. My mum enjoyed the film. She hasn't read the books. Me and Charlie, on the other hand, <sighs> I mean, Charlie has just DNF'd the first book, but she got over halfway. So, you know. She knew what was going on in the book. However, in the film, no clue. Have no idea how they're going to do a second film, if they do a second film. And I spent the whole film annoyed. <laughs> and the one thing I would have liked them to not keep in the film, they kept in and I cried. But yeah, 
that's literally i didn't finish either evergreen like i wanted to it's fine it's fine um i'm currently trying to remember if i decided my christmas tbr was going to start from sunday or monday if it's starting from tomorrow no it isn't <laughs> Um, so I might have to just catch up Monday so this is going to be an interesting week for the next week because I have a lot to do and very little time because I also have to work so I'm going to wrap this vlog up now because I have nothing else to say um I hope you enjoyed it I would say I don't feel like there's been a lot of content this week but I said that last week and it ended up being almost 40 minutes worth of content so don't know how much this one's gonna be but i hope you enjoyed this vlog anyway um hit the like button hit the subscribe button and i will see you next time bye